while I was awake last night, I watched a video and again, I totally related. So her name is Amanda and she, her channel name is called I Am Mind Blind. And she talks about her ADHD autism diagnosis in her 40s, late diagnosis. And she also talks about her uh, aphantasia and her memory disorder. And um, yesterday I watched uh, one of her recent videos while I was sleepless in the middle of the night. And it turns out that her brand of Fantasia, a Fantasia is uh, a little bit, not completely, but a little bit like mine. So hmm. my a Fantasia is visual, which means that I don't visualize easily or well in my mind's eye. Now, over the years, I noticed this difference and I tried to rectify it. And I've developed a screen in my front brain where I visualize what I can. And usually it's like a black and white shadowy kind of gradation of something. Like it's, it's just not even, like it'll be like a hand or it'll be, um, uh, an object or something but it's never like a whole scene it's it's not like watching a video okay and um but i do have <laughs> a synesthesia which is a mixing of the senses and my audio and my visual are connected and my visual touch is connected. So I have the mirror touch kind of synesthesia and I have the audio triggering visualizations, okay, visuals. But <clears throat> the visuals are not like a video. The visuals that I do get are bright colors, uh, lines, uh, starbursts, kind of like fireworks. Uh, or waves, like um, if you've ever seen um, acoustic art, <clears throat> where the patterns of the rhythms make sand uh, have patterns, visual patterns that you can see, right? So like, the, I get that kind of um, input. And uh, actually it's output, because it's my brain doing it <laughs> in response to input. And so um, it's interesting for me to have synesthesia and some form of aphantasia at the same time because my other senses make up for what's missing and create um, an experience in my mind. And so with my very strong acoustic senses, I can fill in the blanks, so to speak. <laughs> I often will visualize the hands. Um, I'm, I'm just now kind of thinking about why that is, you know, and I think it might be because I had a lot of experience as a child sitting on my father's lap in between his body and his instrument, the saxophone. And from my perspective, I, my little head would be peeking out right around here, right? Um, I could see his hands as they worked the keys of the instrument. And every time I listen to music, um, it doesn't have to be a saxophone, it can be any kind of music. I will see the hands of the musician. And then I will see the instrument. I will, it like very quickly afterwards will build. So that from the hands outwards, the more information I get, the more image I can build around it. So that's how my synesthesia works. Um, oh, and also of course my auditory memory is really good. <laughs> it's so good. 
Um, although my short term or my working memory is uh, garbage. Uh, which means that I, with practice, learning the first couple of notes of a song will then mean that I know the whole entire song. And so now people could say one word or hum two notes of any song and the rest of it is there playing in my mind loudly like an actual radio and I cannot stop it. I have to listen to that whole thing as much as I recall and if you are a musician you will know that there are parts that you practice a lot and recall really well even decades after you've played the piece. And those parts are not necessarily sensible parts or make any kind of musical fun in your mind. So yeah, it's not, um, it's not an evil curse, but <laughs> it's a bother. And if I let myself kind of unmask what I feel is an autistic person inside me, if I let myself I go wild with the echolalia. <laughs> I really do. Which is kind of mean because that's what we get on the case of my oldest autistic son about constantly. Because he is echolaling around like all day long. And I'm like, dude, your noise cannot fill up the air space all the time. Because... Everyone else has an airspace and it, you know, noise pollution, right? And, and if I could squash myself into my own skull, then so can he. Hmm. <laughs> All right. So that was a, uh, yeah, a little self-reflection based on last night's uh, sleepless uh, scrolling. And thank you, Amanda. I love your channel. Okay, bye now.